it's sort of my contention that in many ways you could say maybe that the Germans lost the Second World War to the Russians because the Russian language with respect to combat scenarios and so forth is a great deal more cunning elementally than, than the German language. In the German language, famously, it's difficult to talk at all without talking about spirit and soul and stuff. So the German German language, it's you know, the spirit and the soul are part of really just elemental parts of who everybody is, and it's part of the way they talk. In Russia, uh, this is this is extraordinary to me. Let's think about this. In Russia, the title of Dostoevsky's more or less final great masterpiece, Demons or the Possessed. When, when the title is one Russian word, and it's very short, uh, very short word, and it doesn't exactly mean demons, and it doesn't necessarily mean the possessed exactly, uh, and the Russians are uh, often outspoken about that point about this book. It's not the right way to translate it because it's based on a very specific history of spiritual practice and spiritual belief. So the word is beshe. And it, it, when they the Latin derivative der, derivated lexicography, it's like a B, accented E, S, Y, B, S, H. But it's of course Cyrillic is how they write it. Uh, here's the lady on the internet pronouncing the title of the novel in question. Where are you, ma'am? The little the little thing. Where did I put the box with the little thing? Yeah. Betsy. Betsy. So that word essentially evokes. The scenario in the novel by Dostoevsky, which isn't about one possessed individual, but the sense of a, of a collective uprising, which is almost like the emanation from a territory of a, of a pre-existing theatrical scenario playing out like a weather system. So, it means it almost is like the cosmic trigger that wakes up the participants in some sort of mad, totally destructive event, a big cosmic, social, historic, and, you know, quantum physics type event. That's the, that's the principle in that one very small word. Yeah.